Look at them. They're having so much fun. Hey, it's Adam AK Swimming Bird, and welcome to Pikmin 4 on the Nintendo Switch. This is the first mainline Pikmin game in just about a decade, give or take. It was 10 years ago when Pikmin 3 was originally released, so we are long overdue for one of these. I'm very excited, and I hope you'll join me on this adventure. Now, maybe you watched me stream the demo. We are not going to import this save. You only get five bomb rocks for completing the demo, but also... There are some differences between that and the main game, and I want to see those. We're going to start today with the prologue and the first day for part one, and then each part will be a new day as we go along. We will get to Dondori later. There's Dondori in the story. And, you know, my, my old Pip-Pap used to say, you got to finish your story before you can have your Dondori. Let's get into it. We're going to play solo. Player 2 just controls this little cursor like Mario Galaxy. It's called the Pebble Pitcher. You can throw rocks and pick pick carrots at enemies. We don't need that. We're going to go solo. Well, sort of. We actually are going to have a lot of help from the Rescue Corps and the adorable mascot pup, Ochi. But first, in the prologue, there's going to be a different pup and a different explorer before we get to go into the character creator and make our own little Rescue Squad member. If you played or watched any Pikmin games, I'm sure you'll recognize this guy. It's Ness from Earthbound. No, I am Captain Olabar. Got that deep Hokotate voice. I command a spaceship called the SS Dolphin. That's me. This is the story of how I crashed into an unknown planet and how I was ultimately rescued. I'm not screaming, that's just my nose. Got a nice little silhouetted story book prologue here. After the crash, I woke up to find my ship was in pieces scattered everywhere. I had no way of returning home to my beloved family. I thought I was doomed. Known family man, Olimar. One of the Nintendo characters with the most backstory and plot, you know, development fleshed out. Oh, there it is. It's one of those things, until I encountered a strange species, which I named Pikmin, after his beloved Pik Pik carrots back home. Or maybe beloved, I don't know. He probably eats them. The Pikmin had an innate desire or will to carry objects. With their help, I was able to find and transport my missing ship parts. I had an innate desire to throw them as well. Time passed, and I met yet another mysterious creature. Also, has a leaf. It appeared to be malnourished. So I tossed over a treat. Got a scrummy bone, just handy. I guess Bulby is his family pet. Very similar. After that, we quickly bonded. The Bulbalorb's named after his weird little alien dog. She is a steadfast partner in the quest to find the missing pieces of my spaceship. There we go. A quest that was nearing its end. Looks a lot better. Kind of an essential piece there. <laughs> the bow of the ship. I like the SS Dolphin. We arrived at the last area we had left to explore. Luckily, some giant left their window open. Look at this place. What is this place? Is this Andy's house? I'm gonna guess this is gonna be a pretty late game level here. Seen it a lot in the trailers though. First time really going into someone's house this in depth. Something about this area is different from the others we've explored so far. Hmm. Wait, where are you running off to? The Pikmin don't usually jump out of the onion like that. Something about this place, they're drawn to frolic. Maybe just because it's a tutorial. Hey, get off of that tasteful crow pillow. Stop running around the 
fort that a tiny giant must have constructed. <laughs> Are the humans still alive? I have a lot of questions about what's going on in this version of PNF 404, whatever is going on here. That can't be a good sign. The Pikmin don't usually scurry off like that. I suppose I'll have to call them back while I search for the missing ship parts. Luckily, we have Moss here, our spotted little cow dog, or whatever she is. Here we go. Gotta check behind all the pillows. No, I think we're mostly alone in this little spot, except the dolphin's engine sputtering away. It looks like it could use a few more parts before we head out to space. <laughs> the onion's also acting strange. We can't access it. I saw some of the Pikmin head this way. Gonna learn how to use a new technique. They could be hiding behind those things. Let's break them and see. When we jump, I'll start charging up my pup's strength. Just need to press X and hold down, then take aim. When she's at full strength, I'll let go and let her rush. Okay, puppy's gonna rush. Let's do it. A lot of terracotta getting destroyed by these dogs in this game. Pikmin, they're doing their morning calisthenics. Oh-ho, I knew it. Now I'll use B to call them back to me with my whistle. All the space explorers in this series conveniently have a whistle right on their helmet. And they jump on like they're grabbing onto a little Totoro. I just wish I knew why the Pikmin ran away and hid in the first place. Hmm, I better make a note of this in my voyage log. Even if you say record later, he's just like, no, I gotta do this. I'm very fastidious with my notes. You never know when this kind of information will prove useful. Now how to phrase it. Version 10.2.6, October 26. That's the date of Pikmin launching on the GameCube back in 2001. Strange Pikmin behavior. When I arrived at this area, the Pikmin started acting quite strange. They flew out of the onion and immediately hid. I can't find my spaceship parts without them. I suppose I'll just keep looking for them and can call them back using my whistle. I need to find my missing ship parts, but it'll be much easier if I have more Pikmin to help me. Despite how the pups are front and center in this game, we do still need the Pikmin. It is named after them, as, you know, of course. At least I have a few more Pikmin now. Doing back there. You hanging around? He's just staring off, disassociating. <laughs> <laughs> they have a, the energy of a toddler. There we go. He's doing the iconic little lay. Okay, come on. Get on here. Let's charge through. One good rush could break those. I knew I'd find you here. We should search the area below. Oh, don't look before you leap. Let's charge right off. Let's ramp this dog off the edge. There we go. <laughs> Just been doodling on the floor. I'm gonna rush into this pillow. If anything's up high, you can always knock it down with a rush. Oh, here's something. I'll use the control stick to take a peek. Poor yellows. Now, they're used to flying around and landing on whatever. Their big ears help them fly higher. They're very energetic. That's why they seem to be up high all the time. I wonder what's behind this. Let's rush with X and check it out. It's blue Pikmin. So, the three original Pikmin 1 types are in this tutorial area, which makes me think sort of a little bit of a retcon of Pikmin 1. Hey, I hear voices. I can check the area with the control stick. Like, once again, the yellow Pikmin wanting to get up high, going up the stairs. Can't hide from me. Didn't notice that this is like a little car here. Aha, uh -huh, found you. Yeah, this is supposed to be a post-post-apocalyptic setting where the apocalypse happened, humans were wiped out, weird creatures started to appear everywhere, but things began to regrow and redevelop, but I'm not so sure in this one. I feel like humans might still be around. Huh, let's get it done with a rush. Could just whistle, but it's more fun to <laughs> run into a pillow. <laughs> Probably feels fun, I don't know. I, I definitely did my share of like sliding down the stairs on a pillow as a kid. Okay, there has to be a shipboard around here somewhere. This is the perfect situation to rely upon my pup's powerful nose. Track down one of those ship parts, girl. Follow the little blue fart clouds. There we go. 
They can track a bunch of different stuff in this game. We need to stay on that scent. One of the many handy features of having a puppy pal using control stick helps keep track of the scent. Somebody's backpack. I have seen the theory that maybe something's going on that's preserving a lot of the stuff in these games. Do I want to know what's up here? We'll come back to that. I should tap X to jump and climb up. There we go. Yellow. Like to be up high. Red. What are you doing? Get over here. <laughs> Red like to be down low with their nose in a book, maybe. <laughs> I have plenty of Pikmin now. I'll tell you when I when I have plenty of Pikmin all over. But where are those ship parts? Did that grass just move? Here we go. Get out of that cat grass. Okay, there's one other little area here. Got 80. So in the old games, you can have 100 Pikmin from the start. And you can get 100 in this tutorial, but starting out, I believe we just have 20. You kind of build up to it. There's a little bit more of a gradual build up to all the Pikmin mainstays. But I don't mind. I think this is a really good entry if you've never played a Pikmin game before. This seems like a good way to get into the series. Ten more. Well, there's some puppy-related bags. I really want to see what's up there. Some sort of floating platform by the stove. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Could those Pikmin be playing? You guys grinding on this little rail? Oh, we're missing two more. Are they up here? There they are. Okay. What a relief. I found all my Pikmin. Now time to throw them out. <laughs> now I just need to find my missing parts. I wanted to do this in the demo, and I didn't try it. And here we go. <laughs> if you'll bear with me. just want to see what happens. Look at them. They're having so much fun. Whoa. They really fly. Pikmin are the size of dimes, if you didn't know. And uh, Olmar's about the size of a quarter, so they are very small. Especially can see that when you uh, are in someone's middle-class suburban house. Got everybody? Okay, let's go. I've had my fun. Let's go follow the scent like we're supposed to and finish this little tutorial prologue. The rush is pretty good for banging into stuff like couches and pillows, but it doesn't really get you anywhere that fast. And then you have to wait to recharge it, but it's good for combat as well, as we'll see here when we battle this weird thing. I think it's called a Porquillion? One of the new enemies. A creature? I don't see any ship parts. Could that thing have swallowed one whole? Gross looking. <laughs> the spiky things are gonna make this tough. I have to find an opening. Maybe I should use X to build up energy so we can rush the creature when the time is right. In the meantime, let's circle it and wait for a chance to strike. So having a pup is very nice. You get to keep your Pikmin squad, even of a hundred, condensed. Get that thing and take back my part. Use X to rush now. There we go. Let's bite it. Yes, this is going to work. Much easier to uh, have all of your Pikmin jump on. Instead of throwing them one by one like I was doing on that grind rail, you just rush into them with everybody. It's the interstellar radio. We located it at last. With this back in my position, I can finally call for help. And that's what I'll do. And that's where we come in. Our created character is a member of a rescue corps. We'll learn all about them here as we get into the game, but I'm excited. Thank you so much for being here. If you're, you know, watching me play or playing along yourself, I really do appreciate it. This is one of my favorite series. I had recovered the interstellar radio. The background change to the house. So I immediately sent out an SOS signal. And attached the latest version of my voyage log. I hoped I could get a book deal, but you never know. Days and weeks passed, but one month later, my signal reached the rescue corps. And I ran out of oxygen. This is anything like Pikmin 1. They took off towards this remote planet with noble plans to bring me home safe. Okay, love a good pet in a game, so I'm very happy that Ochi is part of the Rescue Corps. Unfortunately, fate had other plans. 
The rescue officers sent to rescue me crash landed during their arrival. Something is going on with this planet. Meteors are... Double shipwrecks are rare and extremely unlucky. At one point, you might think that all hope was lost. I didn't think that. It always works out. But there was one last rescue officer left at Rescue Corps HQ. A rookie. You. That's right, you are my last hope. Okay. Emergency mission. Let's get to it. Rescue the Rescue Corps. Following emergency protocol, all officers were directed to evacuate the spaceship immediately. Finding the Dispersed Rescue Corps is now your top priority. Create your ID badge and deploy immediately. Luckily, as long as you look at theme park ride. Uh, luckily, yeah, we, we were late. I don't know what was going on with us. So there are four body styles. We have an Olimar looking, you know, hookitation. This looks more like Louie. This is uh, kind of a new style, like the cut character from 3, Drake. And then this one is kind of like Char Charlie from uh, from 3, although his mouth really looks like a puppet mouth to me. Some new alien types in this. We'll just kind of quickly scan the faces for you guys so you can see. I don't know what's going on with these eyes, but pretty good. And they all have different hairstyles as well. <laughs> we'll look at those real quick before I swap around. There are six hair colors and six suit colors as well. If you just kind of click the defaults, you'll get Lisa, sometimes called Palm by some of the people uh, pre-release, but as you'll see, when we get into it, pretty much every character has dog-themed names. So Palm kind of fits with Pomeranian, but a lot of, a lot of good options for a first time getting a custom created character. It's very similar to like an early Animal Crossing. And there's some crossover in developers and stuff. So I am going to make my character that I made in the demo this stern looking guy with this beautiful haircut. No, we're gonna go with the uh, the mohawk. It's gonna be blonde and we're gonna have the purple suit because this is not Swimmy Bird. This is Owari, which is my Wario parody. <laughs> you know, Olimar based off of Mario or named after Mario. Louis based off Luigi. And Owari is my big gruff Wario man. He's, you know, ready to get out there and punch some bull borbs. He's got that brute strength that we need to rescue Captain Olimar. Let's get into it. Rescue Corps Officer Owari, home planet Karut, from the word Karuta for card. They uh, anglicized it, yeah. So it's uh, originally Nintendo, if you don't know, made playing cards. The Rescue Corps' newest officer. They recently accepted a dangerous mission to rescue their missing colleagues. Yeah, some new planets being introduced, not just Kopai and Hokotate. We'll see a bunch of that as we find more people. Not only by fate, but the fate of the Rescue Corps. Rest in the hands of one inexperienced adventurer. We got our own little custom ship. Which is also named after a dog breed, as we'll see. I didn't notice, you know, the dolphin. Of course, that was the code name for the GameCube. Then we had the Drake and the Sparrow. They were bird names. That kind of went over my head in Pikmin 3. Now, we've got some more dog-themed ones, as we'll see. I'll let the game reveal that. All right, we are ready to go. Toddling off into adventure. <laughs> I love his run. Search for the missing, missing rescue officers. Gotta get used to talking normal again. There he is. Immediately, we get Ochi. And, you know, whatever suit color you choose, Ochi's collar matches. And the rest of, rest of the rescue corps also matches you. And the ships. Ochi, he's from Gia. He's a rescue pup. So Gia is from Kagia, which is like a locksmith, I, I think is the, the word for locksmith. This young local rescue pup is one of an elite breed of space dogs that's long served the Shepherd family. This is his first mission. He's so small and cute. We found the rescue pup. There we go. You encountered the Rescue Corps' rescue pup Ochi. The remaining six rescue officers are still out there somewhere. 
When I was a kid with the N64, I really liked Jet Force Gemini, and you could play as one of the do one of the members of the crew was a dog, so very happy to see another space dog. Oh, she's trying to tell us something. That's a big Pikmin. No. Oh, someone back there. He's breathing, at least. You found someone in need of rescuing. He's looking good snoozing in that purple suit, but let's help him out. Come on, Ochi. Begin rescue operations at once. We can whistle just like with the Pikmin with Ochi. Tell him to get in there. I wish I could help him. All I can do is punch at it futilely or stand here and fuse with it. <laughs> Look at this fist. Wah! Wah! All the dirt has been removed. Good job, Ochi. Good pup. Okay, let's go. Let's get this guy. Aww. Nope, that's that's dirty, buddy. <laughs> Just licking the helmet. Hmm. Mm. Huh? Is that you, Ochi? Who's this guy? Copying our suit color. Like the stars, I, I wasn't sure that my SOS signal had reached HQ. So you and Ochi found and rescued me together? It's actually quite surprising. I've never known Ochi to listen to anyone other than our captain. Oh, I should probably introduce myself. I'm Colin, communications operator for the Rescue Corps. Colin, after Border Collie, or different types of collie dogs. He's also from Gia. As the Rescue Corps comms officer, he handles communication for his fellow officers, plus he's handy with a wrench. There's also one of the original Pikmin developers was named Colin Reed, so I'm wondering if he's named after them. He's also got the kind of weird mouth that I've got with a wari. He's gonna do it to him. You met up with Colin, the Rescue Corps' comms operator. That's one down. Now, where could the other rescue officers be? Hale. My path got cut off by a small landslide. Hare! And when my hunger became unbearable, I decided to nap to preserve my stamina. You're our latest recruit, right? It's a wari, isn't it? Hey. I couldn't be more grateful to you for rescuing me. As I mentioned before, I was the one who sent out that emergency signal. The rest of the rescue corps, well, it was a rough landing. We entered the planet's atmosphere and lost control of the ship. Even his antennas sad. What happened? No. I have no idea. It kind of just happens on PNF 404. Very rare to not have a crash landing, especially if you've never been here before. There were six officers on the ship, but we were separated when we ejected from the spacecraft. No, no, no. We came here to find Captain Olimar, whose own ship had crashed only to suffer the same fate. It's almost embarrassing. <laughs> Can you go? I've confirmed that our spaceship, the SS Shepard, landed somewhere over there. But I couldn't reach it on my own. Now that you're here, maybe we can find a way back to it. Well, you know, if you're going to crash and be rescued, you might as well be among rescue corps members. <laughs> and if we're lucky, we'll come across a few stranded rescue officers along the way. Oh, before I forget, take this. My Nintendo Switch. It's an official Rescue Corps tablet. We use them to share information. Thank goodness, I always carry an extra. Tap up on the left side there to open and review your missions. Version 20.0.1, so 2001. Also, you know, the year Pikmin was released originally. You can use this app anytime to confirm what tasks are top priority. I have some other handy apps to share, but I'll install them later when we have a moment to rest. For now, just remember that you can always tap up to view missions. But if you press minus and select shortcut settings, you can assign different functions to each shortcut button. We'll do that a little later once we unlock more stuff. Oh, look at all these ID badges. Kind of glimpse some of the other crew. This guy's silhouette looked like Alf, but this is like the cooler Alf. <laughs> we can see now. Okay. Now then, let's go find the SS Shepard. Big upgrade from the Copad, the Wii U gamepad of the last game. Now we have this tablet. It's very Switch-like. They love inserting their own consoles and stuff into the games. There she is, the SS Shepard. I can see the ship, but I have no idea how we're going to reach it from here. You know, there's something familiar about this area. I remember something. Just up ahead. Let's go. All right. You sort of lead the way. Oh, Colin runs like me. Plants on this planet are gigantic. Always make sure the area is safe with R. Come on, toddle with me, Colin. There we go, our first cave. Look, that's it. See that big hole in the ground over there? 
only we could find a way there. Then we could finally reunite with the SS Shepherd. Hmm. So caves have returned from Pikmin 2. It's impossible to get over the ledge. There's something under that dirt. Pick it up, Bochi. Don't eat the dirt, though. I know you like licking it off of helmets. This is a perfect job for a rescue pup. They're known for being excellent diggers. Good pup, Bochi. You're making easy work of all that dirt. You're stealing the job of the white and yellow Pikmin. Almost there. There we go. This is actually what valves look like in Japan. They have the very, you know, the same blue, usually. You can see why rescue pups are the rescue corps' pride and joy. Huh? This looks just like the other hole we saw. Well done, Ochi. Well, time to jump in that shiny crevasse. I wonder if these two holes are somehow connected underground. Either way, very shiny down there. It looks pretty deep. We're just gonna have to dive right in. Let's do it. Ah, if there's treasure, <laughs> Wario's in it. That's the spirit. Here we go. I mean, Owari. Oh, <laughs> no relation. Though it does look pretty dark down there. Okay. Here we go. Wait, that's not what my guy says. Let's go. Oh, baby. <laughs> In Mario Party, he goes, oh, baby. Burrow of beginning sub-level one. Now we're getting tips. Luckily, these little guys are pretty hardy. Man, the long fall. Squishy little guys, the Karutians and uh, Giangan? Giangans? Hey, what is it, Ochi? He's trying to tell us something. Perhaps another rescue officer's down here. This is first, uh, you know, bit of the game. Very tutorial heavy, but we'll get into it soon enough. We're learning the flow of the game, basically. Learning how to use Ochi, learning what caves are, learning what these gross bulborb larvae are like. Oh no! Oh my! What a place to find the captain! That terrified individual you see over there is the captain of our rescue corps team. Look sharp, Owari. The captain comes from a long line of rescue officers. Go, oh, this is no time for a history lesson. Hurry up and do something. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. She has a fun little scared sound. Oh no, she's surrounded by creatures. Get in there, Ochi. And I'll help out. Punch. Did Colin punch it or did he? Okay. These guys don't even, ugh, they melt away. They don't even leave a corpse. Those are very small little larval bulborbs. Whew, now we can relax a bit. Captain, we took care of the creatures down here. Can you get down? The tiny bulborbs you'll see are not really bulborbs. They're mimicking. I hope so. My arms are almost numb. I've been hanging on so long. Okay, I can do this. Ooh, that's a smoother landing than we had. <laughs> I like Shepard. She's a little bumbling, but she's out of her depth a little bit. She's probably never been to a planet like this. What's your status, Colin? Are you okay? And she's Ochi's, you know, owner, so she's, she's got to be from good stock. Shouldn't I be asking you that? I'm just relieved to see you're all right. Dog lovers can't be bad. Oh, you. I haven't seen you since rookie training camp. I'm Captain Shepard of the Rescue Corps, if you don't remember. Did you order Ochi to get rid of those creatures all by yourself, Owari? Hmm. Ochi's not supposed to obey anyone but me. Guess that rookie training paid off after all, didn't it? You know, the first time I saw you in training, I had a feeling you'd make a top-notch dog trainer. Here we go. This is Shepard, the captain. She's also from Gia, a 99th gen Rescue Corps officer. She was saved by a rescue pup as a child sparking a lifelong love for her furry colleagues. A little bit of a Nepo baby, maybe. <laughs> She's got <laughs> nepotism now. She's skilled. Everyone's gonna crash on your first visit to Earth. We found Captain Shepard. With the captain here, it feels like there may be some hope for us after all. Okay. Sorry to interrupt, Captain, but uh, what were you doing down here anyway? While exploring the surface, I discovered a suspicious hole. I leaned over to take a look inside and fell right in. I wandered around the cave trying to find an exit, but I came up on those icky, slimy creatures. Hang on, did you fall down the hole located near the SS Shepherd? The SSU? We entered this cave in an attempt to reach that very opening. 
Well then, what are we waiting around here for? Let's get back to the SS Shepherd. Copy that. <laughs> what? Is something wrong? You didn't say anything, Awari. Copy that is the Rescue Corps way of saying understood. Let's try saying it together, okay? Hmm. Copy that. Wario listens to no man. No. <laughs> we'll be a good member of the Rescue Corps yet, especially if we want to have this dog as our best buddy. We gotta be nice. Very good. Excellent reply. That said, you'll need to review the Rescue Corps Rescue Journal for your upcoming missions. It's essential to our work. Where did that <laughs> The tablet is huge. I guess it shrinks down. All right, we've installed the rescue journal. This is where you'll find advice left by captains, both past and present. I have no doubt the knowledge and wisdom they share here will guide you well. Irma Shepard, captain in command. Okay, now we have her ID badge. You'll be able to access them via your tablet as the need arises, so put them to good use while out in the field. Since Ochi and you have bonded, I officially approve of your partnership. I'll be observing you both to see what skills you have as a rescue pup trainer. Okay. Let's go. Wait, the conundrum. Well, we've already learned. Ooh, what do we do, Owari? That was quite a rush. Broke through, what was that, five whole big jars? That's pretty good for one little pup who hasn't even grown up all the way yet. I remember this area. Okay. Basically out of here. There, that's where I fell in. My word, to think you survived a fall from that height. But more importantly, how are we supposed to climb up there? We survived one, but, well, she did land on this metal. Hey, there's something under the light. Here we go. Whoa! <laughs> Wonder what these caves were built for originally. If they were like drains or valves, they've got this kind of air current that you can access. Who knows what these PNF-404ians were up to? The theory, though, is you know maybe stuff is preserved because there's some sort of weird radioactive thing with the sparklium keeping things preserved. We'll see. We just know there's toxic oxygen everywhere. But luckily, Ochi can breathe it. Excuse me, Owari. I suggest you exercise a bit more caution when encountering something unfamiliar. Maybe don't just touch it. Wario. Acts first and thinks later. I mean, oh, Wario, sorry. I completely agree, though. In this case, your impulsive behavior did get us out of that cave. All right. Planting our flag. All right, Captain. The Rescue Corps flag has been officially planted. No pun intended. I know there's little weird plants on this place. Now for the status report on all cave-related activities, we located and rescued one castaway, and no other individuals were found during our search. Noted. Then let's consider the investigation of this cave complete. I hope this experience will help you prepare for the challenges inherent in our work. There are lives depending on us. But you both did good work today. Well done, Owari and Ochi. I guess we're just gonna skip right over the fact that we had to rescue the captain herself. Colin, you look different since the last time I saw you. Did you do something new with your hair? I don't think so. It's been a, been a bit busy trying to, you know, stay alive. I wonder, I'll have to look back at old trailers. Did he look different before? I almost thought he was going to be a robot with his, like, Pinocchio looks. Of course, and good for you. You did it. Well, here she is, the SS Shepherd. Hopefully there's no weird uh, alien-type twist with Colin where he's... Secretly an android or something. Oh, I see a bike bell. Some other treasures in the distance. Okay, let's go. The shepherd also walks. <laughs> they're really, they're trying to keep their balance. Is that smoke pouring out of the SS Shepherd? I'll investigate right away. Famous last words. I just recently watched The Visitor, an episode of Adventure Time that's basically a Pikmin parody. And there was uh, some bad stuff going on with their ship as well. Status report. Upon investigating the interior of the ship, I discovered the engine had overheated. And that the spaceship was seconds away from total destruction. What? Oh no, will it be okay? It will. I initiated an emergency shutdown and everything's stable. Thankfully the engine can be repaired. However, the ship's engine stores are now completely empty. 
so we have no way of getting off this planet, let alone searching for Captain Olimar. When do I get my cool headband? I guess if I am a captain. Not necessarily. I think I saw something in Olmar's voyage log that may prove useful. Captain Olmar, sorry. Put some respect on that little guy's name. Here it is. Take a look at this. Downloading. <laughs> I forget what he looks like when his back is to the camera and then I see Awari's gruff like mm, face. I found treasure. After thorough investigation into the shiny objects found on this planet, I have deduced that they must contain sparklium. I feel giddy to have found real-life treasure, but my focus must remain on my main objective, finding the missing parts of the SS Dolphin. Sparklium returning from Hey Pikmin, one of the few things they carried over from that side game. Not received that great, but is, uh, yeah, it's a fine little puzzle platformer. In layman's terms... We should be able to extract sparkling from sparkling objects that we find on this planet and convert it into energy. Yeah, sparkling returning means treasure, not just fruit, so I'm happy about that at least. More variety of stuff to get. If they can be used to restart and restore the SS Shepard, those objects truly are nothing short of real-life treasures. I'm skeptical. But at this point, we have nothing to lose. This may be our only chance. So from this point on, we have a new mission. Find and collect all the sparkly objects we can. Copy that. Okay, first mission. Past, you know, securing the captain from weird bulbor babies. Secure energy source. Apparently, sparkly objects can be used as an energy source. Locate as many as you can so we can restart the SS Shepard. And once we collect this treasure, we'll need a way to transport it. Hmm. For that, we can use the SS Beagle. Hey, that's my ship. I guess it's owned by the Rescue Corps. Basically, similar to when the Hokotate ship popped its top off and talked to us, except probably less talkative, I've seen. We just need a good place for it to land. Hmm, what's that over there? Yeah, we're not actually flying our ship around every time. The SS Shepard stays here at this kind of landing base camp that we can get our days started at. Oh. Maybe it's some sort of landmark, but I'm not completely sure. It looks like the perfect spot for a base of operations. Call the ship over. There's an even bigger one mysteriously next to it. SS Beagle repositioning successful. Good. Our preparations are complete. Let's find that treasure. It'd be nice if we had some sort of tripoded weird thing to land here. Is there anything sparkly around here? Yeah. Fondue fork or baby fork or whatever this is. Is this what I think it is? This has to be a treasure. Just look at the way it sparkles. Let's check the tablet to see if it's emitting a high energy reading. All right, rookie. Let's press the control pad to open the radar map. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. I'm doing it. <laughs> hmm. Weirdly, it is... Oh, wait. <laughs> Apologies, it wasn't the control pad, it's the plus button that looks almost identical. Presence of Sparklium confirmed. That, that star in the center represents the treasure. From now on, you can consult your radar map to check if there's any treasure in your area. Okay, yeah, stars are treasure. There's caves. Let's see where we came from. All right, we've got our main mission. And we got our voyage log. There's his SOS. Excellent work. I'm going to take this auspicious start as a good sign. But, uh, how are we going to move it? That's where Lulochi comes in. Go, buddy, go! I'm going to punch these posies while we're at... No, they're not even grown yet. Evacuation complete! And Ochi has the power of three Pikmin. Excellent! It's on the move! He just uses it to go eat something. That's perfect! And right under... Our little Aww. UFO. This treasure is large. How can we physically collect something this big? Ship uses a special type of light ray that miniaturizes objects during collection, so it shouldn't be a problem. I'll examine it with the sensors on the SS Beagle right away. Let's hope it contains the type of energy we need. I always forget that we're basically little aliens, because it's like a UFO there. How much is that worth? Aww. 50 sparklium. Yes, energy detected. If we can collect 250 more units of sparkling, we may be able to restart the SS Shepard. 
but the SS Shepard is supposed to run on high octane energy. Will this work? I believe we can get it to run on Sparklium alone, though it may be a bumpy ride. But before that can happen, we're going to need a lot more. Then we need to search the area for more treasure. Okay, come on, Ochi. Let's find some more treasure. Namely, this big thing. Bonk. Look out! <laughs> Talk about throwing uh, classic Nintendo references in left and right. One of the few games where we can have some real-life technology in here, canonically. That was close, too close. Not even a game in it. Where are we gonna transport this? So that needs 10 Pikmin. It won't budge. Look at this. Delicious, loured tomato. It's like fingers moving, it's creepy. What's this? Lots of stuff in these games are creepy and cool at the same time, my favorite. Is it a treasure? Gotta love weird bugs and alien creatures and stuff. It seems even Ochi can't carry it alone. Oh, she's talking about the GBA SP. Good job, Ochi. The special Game Boy Advance. Carry it just like that. Sparkling with a backlit screen and a nice flip design. Here we go. Bring that back. Don't. There's no sparkly in that. There's only little buddies and creepy roots. There they are. I like this new design. The one in 3 was a little too mechanical, and I don't know, I wasn't as into that as much. It had swirling colors that was kind of cool, but I like how it divides the onion in this one when you get different ones. Huh? It moved. I don't think it's a treasure. What could it be? It looks kind of like a plant. Could this be that thing Captain Olimore wrote about in his voyage log? Called an onion. If this is an onion, then what is that sprout? Call it an onionling. Luckily, Olimar has left his notes. So we know this is a red Pikmin. Pretty much always the first one you start out with in these games. Oh my, I think this could be a Pikmin. According to Captain Olimar's voyage log, they're friendly and helpful creatures. Don't look at it like that, Ochi. Well then, maybe they could help us while we explore and look for treasure. <laughs> Look at that, Ochi's already bonding with the Pikmin. You should introduce yourself as well, Awari. Either that, he's chasing a rat. So, like, with my two cats, it's hard to tell sometimes whether they're playing or sparring. And, uh, Captain, how long do you intend to hide back there? You just gotta get used to them, they're weird. You can select Pikmin with L and R. Press A to throw them. Alright, we'll let them do that. Start getting some more pellets. For these little pellets, you get more of them if it's the same color as the Pikmin that brings it back to the onion. You used to have separate onions in the first two games. What? More sprouts! Usually it doesn't matter with these early pellets because you, you know you get one more, but later with the bigger pellets it does count more. That red seed light thing is apparently called a pellet. If you feed one to the onion, it will create more Pikmin. What a mysterious life form. And those plants are the pellet posies. Must be how we get more Pikmin. Alright, let's get these going here. Efficiently. Mm -mm -mm. Pluck them out. Ochi cannot pluck Pikmin quite yet. But he'll get there. He's basically like another captain. I know some people were like, oh, they went down from having uh, two captains in two and three captains in three. I thought we were going to get four captains, but... I think maybe scaling it back a little, having a captain and a rescue pup is more, uh, you know, welcoming. Ooh, that's a lot of Pikmin. And you can kind of condense your Dondori skills. We'll learn about that later. Into a more focused effort. I don't know, we'll see. I, I'm kind of glad they didn't go with four captains, because I feel like that might have been a little too much. Alright, I think we got Ample here with Ochi. We'll put it over the edge. Go on, Ochi. Help him out, yeah. So you need, the bottom number is how many you need to carry something. The top number is how many is carrying it strength-wise. Because remember, Ochi has the strength of three right now. So you can over-carry, basically, to move things faster. And as the days go on, days I think are only like 13 minutes, typically. So you got to make use of efficiency. 
New treasure collected. That was 200. We saw another one over here. Another treasure collected. Let's see if we can get Ochi to knock that down. Need to keep this up. Nope, we can just throw our Pikmin up there because it's only five. We're almost at 300 units. So there's this auto lock on now and we've got this. Pikmin will stop kind of helping at certain points, but if you throw extra Pikmin near something, it will help pick it up and, uh, and carry it a little faster. We don't even need Ochi on this one. They got it all their own. They love their little, like, as they carry stuff. Huzzah! You two make a fantastic combination, Owari and Ochi. Thanks a bunch. <laughs> I didn't say copy that this time. Yes, yes, keep up the good work. Insubordination. I'm going to write Owari up for that one when we get back. The Pikmin are very obedient. They move and work like tiny rescue pups. Now it's time to extract the energy from the treasure. Get started right away, Colin. Okay. And then we can get out of here and get to the game proper. We'll get some more Pikmin types. There we go. It's nighttime. The beagle is resting on the German Shepherd. <laughs> energy from the treasure will soon be extracted. It'll flow directly into the SS Shepherd. There we go. Plop those in. Oop, shake the sparkly em off. <laughs> and resell it on the black market. I'm sure some, you know, quotations or somebody's gonna wanna play a giant video game. They've got those, you know, I've been to the Strong Museum with the giant Donkey Kong and Pac-Man and stuff. Okay. Giant Tetris is fun. It's back and ready to go. This is our biggest one yet. It's almost like a cruise liner. The SS Shepherd is running. We restarted the SS Shepherd using the sparkly extracted from the treasure. We did it. The ship's back online. We still don't have enough energy to fly, but now we could use the radar to look for our missing rescue officers. Excellent, Colin. Boot it up and see if we pick up any signals. In the demo, we had to worry about only collecting 1,500 sparkly a minute ended, so. Now I can get all the sparkly in my want. I'm picking up multiple SOS signals. They could be coming from our lost rescue officers and even Captain Olimar. So we don't have a moment to lose. Time to get rescuing. Exploration results, day one. We have two rescues, so every rescue we get, we get a pup drive point, which is what you, uh, almost said Yoshi. <laughs> it's more like Poochie. Ochi uses those to upgrade his abilities. That's interesting. The ship is automatically naming the objects. We got the Noble Biden, the Stone of Advancement, and the Path Creator. We encountered unknown objects and elements on our missions all the time, so I had a naming AI installed on our new ships. I don't know about that, Shepard. Apparently, it was co-created by a famous appraiser. It's more sophisticated than I expected. Pretty impressive. I wonder if it was the Hokutate ship from yeah. 2 that uh, had some influence there. It is neat, but a backup power source probably would have been more helpful. Okay, so the Noble Biden, of course, it's a two-pronged stone advancement, it's a Game Boy Advance, and the path creator, the bike bell, to get people out of your way. I was worried when I saw the smoke billowing out of the SS Shepherd. I didn't know how things would shake out. Thank goodness we were able to make the repairs. Been, been roughing it for long enough, and there's something to be said for finally having a properly prepared meal. And you're sure we have enough emergency rations, Colin? We have no idea how long we'll be stuck on this planet. I countered our stock three times, but I can do it again. Excellent plan. Now, tomorrow we'll focus on recon, so you and Ochi need to eat and get lots of rest, Awari. But don't forget to review your missions before heading to bed. So we don't have to worry about juice like the, you know, Pikmin 3 Copites had to deal with, or life support running out like, uh... Olimar did in the first game. Okay. So we're going to get a little bit of day two here, but we're going to end out before we head out fully. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to leave a like, maybe subscribe. If you're not subscribed, hit the notification bell for more Pikmin 4. Please do so. All right. I guess this is for everyone. I call this strategy meeting to order. Copy that. 
Here's the latest status report. As of today, two rescue officers and one rescue pup have been recovered thanks to the efforts of Owari. However, the whereabouts of the other four rescue officers remain unknown, and the SS Shepard is out of commission. All things considered, our primary mission, the rescue of Captain Olimar, has run into some roadblocks. Our first priority is now the search and rescue of our fellow rescue officers. Owari, Ochi! Fly to the area where our radar picked up those distress signals and try to track down our missing personnel. Colin and I will remain with the ship. We'll provide direction and guidance from here. Oh, hey. Don't worry, we'll be available via the SS Shepard's wireless communication at all times, so you'll have our full support. I wouldn't typically, typically assign so much responsibility to a rookie, but after seeing you in action, I know you can handle it. Plus, you'll be in good pause with Ochi by your side. You two make a great team. Huh? Captain... What about our search for Captain Olimar? Should we officially put it on pause? No. No, we may still find him during our hunt for the other rescue officers. I'll keep it on our mission list, just in case. On that note, I hereby call the strategy meeting to a close. Copy that. All right. Rescue Olimar. Captain Olimar is shipwrecked on this unknown planet. Discover his whereabouts while you search for missing, missing rescue corps officers. That's our main goal here that we came here originally for. Let's get the Pikmin out. There we go. Now, if you are new to the channel, be free to chat real quick. Hold on, buddy. I'm going to get some more Pikmin. You can kind of leisurely do some uh, Pikmin boosting here when you're at the home base because there's no time limit just yet. You'll notice the upper left does not have a day timer. Uh, but yeah, if you're new to the channel and you haven't been here before, if you want to support... My efforts here streaming videos. We're getting back to videos with this series, so hopefully that's exciting for a lot of you. But I do have memberships. If you're subscribed, you can hit the join button down below the video. And there are different tiers with lots of different benefits. Or hold on, Colin. I'm trying to talk. <laughs> I really want to chat with you. <laughs> Such as being able to, you know, get a guaranteed spot on my friends list and things like that. There's also uh, a community link in the description as well if you want to check that out. They're both at the top. Huh? The onion stuff's spitting out seeds. Based on life signs from inside the onion, there are clearly more Pikmin in there. Maybe Pikmin have evolved to self-limit how many can be out on the surface at a time to prevent unnecessary loss. No Pikmin extinction. So we can only have 20 right now, which is uh, the amount you would have in the missing one. That was the amount that you would get in a Pikmin, right? Oh, we left one over here. Come here, buddy. Uh, but we will expand that in the future. Okay, let's talk to these guys before we head out. You'll be pleased to learn that I installed a few new apps onto your tablet. I'm sure you'll find them more than useful when you're out in the field, so check them out when you have a spare minute. Now that we have them sorted out, are you ready to go out there and explore? We'll be doing that next time. Whenever you're ready, I'm ready, so come find me. Ever since you started, your hard work has really saved us. You're the rising star of the Rescue Corps, that's for sure. When it comes to exploring uncharted planets, danger is just part of the job. Still, I have no doubt you'll manage. How can I be so certain? Because I have two eyes and can see your potential plain as day. I hired you, didn't I? Okay. Let's see what else he has to say. Oh, <laughs> or not. <laughs> I was trying to use a control pad. What area would you like to explore? Oh. I want to make sure it saves before we finish out here. Gotta look for that little P in the corner. Sun Speckled Terrace. It looks like there might be a missing rescue officer here. We need to get out there and find them. All right, next time, we're going to head to the Sun Speckled Terrace, the first area. Beam us up, Beagle. We're heading out. Thank you guys so much. I'm very, very excited to get into this game. All the Pikmin types are back. There's night missions. There's all this different stuff. Oh, the onion's going too. I wanted to hang out with the Pikmin. Poor Colin. Alright, it's saving. So that's the end of the episode. We'll see you next time when we land. Goodbye!